Like it or not, AI has become a big part of both the video and the audio world. And while I think in some cases maybe it's gone a little bit too far and maybe in some cases it's more of a hindrance than it is an asset, I do think there is one area, especially in the audio world, where AI has been a big help, and that's with audio noise reduction. So today I thought we would pit DaVinci Resolve's AI noise reduction called Voice Isolation up against my favorite third-party AI-powered noise reduction plugin from Waves. But before we get into all of that, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, hi, I'm Jay. I work in audio post-production both in video and in music. And on this channel, I teach the audio side of DaVinci Resolve. So if that's something you wanna learn more about, then stick around, watch this video, maybe watch a couple others and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. Okay, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve. We're just gonna start right in the Fairlight page. I've got a video here that I recorded just across the hall in my laundry room. And uh, I'm gonna play you the clip and we'll talk about what we hear and then we'll go into these AI noise reduction tools. Here's the clip. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom. So there's an exhaust fan on. Also the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. So as you can hear, and as I said in the video, we've got some reverb, we've got some fan noise from the exhaust fan, we've got some heating vent noise, and it's very loud, and we're going to use AI noise reduction to clean it up. So let's take a look at the tools we're using. The first is DaVinci Resolve's own voice isolation tool, which is a AI-powered noise reduction plugin. To get to it, you can do one of two things. You can either select the track that you have the audio on and then go into the inspector and you can turn on voice isolation there, or you can select the clip itself and just have voice isolation on that single clip. As always, I choose to do it over the entire track because if you have your project set up right, then every clip on that track is going to have the same issues. So we'll select the track, we'll turn on voice isolation, and we're going to come down into our mixer and where it says voice ISO, we're just gonna mouse over that. And there's some little gears here, or not gears, but lines and dots to, you know, sliders. We're gonna click that and it's gonna open up the voice isolation plugin. It's very, very simple, just one knob, no presets, nothing. It's just all the way at 100, one single knob, very simple, very clean, very easy to figure out. The other plugin we're gonna look at is my absolute favorite AI noise reduction plugin from Waves. It's called Clarity VX Pro. And to get to that, to get to any of your third-party plugins, all you have to do is open your effects library, which is up here in the top, click on that, and we're gonna come down to VST effects. And I have a ridiculous amount of VST effects, so we're not gonna go scrolling through and looking for it. What we're gonna do is click in the search box and we're gonna type in Clarity. And here we go, we've got Clarity VX Mono, We've got Clarity VX Pro Mono. We are working with a mono track, so we're gonna take Clarity VX Pro Mono and drop it on the track. Now, the Clarity VX plugin, the non-pro version, it, it essentially does the same thing, but there's a few less options. There's a few less controls in there. I like the pro version because it kind of gives me a blend of AI power and full control. I'll show you what I mean. Here on the main thing, we've got just like the voice isolation, we've got one knob here in the middle. If you turn it all the way to the right, you are taking away the ambient noise behind the voice. If you turn it all the way to the left, you get rid of the voice and you're left with the ambient noise. And then if you have it right there in the center, it does nothing. You also have a few different algorithms that you can work with. You've got Broad One, which it says it's better for keeping voice detail and secondary speech. So if you have other voices in the background, it's probably gonna keep those as well, but it will get rid of ambient noise like cars and fans and stuff like that. If we go to Broad One HF, it's the same thing. For the most part, better for maintaining voice and high frequencies. And then if you have Broad Two, 
you get better for severe ambience. It keeps mostly main voices, so close to the microphone. So this is good if you want to actually get rid of some of the background voices, if you have other people talking in the background. And then if we click on it again, we've got Broad Eco, which works on dialogue speech only, and it also uses considerably less CPU. So this is good for dialogue. The rest is going to be good for dialogue and singing. If you've got singing in your video for whatever reason, then you'll want to use one of the others. But if you just have dialogue, you can go with Broad Eco and you can save yourself some CPU power and it'll be really good for dialogue. You've also got these advanced controls, and this is really cool because it's actually kind of like a multi-band compressor. So maybe you crank this voice knob all the way up and it gets rid of the ambience, but you're left with that warbly sound that you get sometimes with noise reduction. You can actually go in here and you can tweak different bands to try and get rid of that warbly because maybe there's not as much noise in one of these bands and you can just bring down the noise reduction on that one band and it'll help with the warbliness and still leave you with a noise-free video. But let's get out of the advanced controls. We're going to start off with an apples to apples comparison. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use our voice isolation from Blackmagic Design and we're going to bring this all the way down to minimum. We're going to start playing the video and we're just going to bring this knob up until we no longer hear any noise. First, let's set some in and out points, make sure looping is on, and we'll go ahead and loop this clip. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom, so there's an exhaust fan on. Also, the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so there you go. We're at 77, didn't have to crank it all the way up. Just, you know, because we are experimenting, let's keep playing it and crank it all the way up and see if we get any of that warbliness that I just hate from noise reduction. Maybe not backwards. So I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom. So there's an exhaust fan on. Also the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so the voice isolation plugin actually does a really good job of getting rid of the ambience. And even when cranked all the way up, it doesn't give you that really horrible warbly sound. I'm very, very impressed. Now we'll move over to our next clip. We'll go ahead and set our in and out points there. Go back to the beginning of the clip and we'll start cranking up that dial. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom. So there's an exhaust fan on. Also the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom. So there's an exhaust fan on. Also the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom, so there's an exhaust fan on. Also, the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby, so we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm actually... So we had to crank Clarity VX Pro up just a little bit more than the voice isolation plugin, but it still does a very, very good job of getting rid of that ambient noise without introducing warbliness. Now, when you're doing one after the other, it's kind of hard to tell the difference. So we are going to do a quick kind of blind comparison to see which one you actually like better. And then we're going to talk about why I like Clarity VX Pro Mono and why I think you might want to pick it up as well. But first, since we're talking about AI, you know who has made big moves in AI this year? Well, not this year because we're in 2025, but last year in 2024, our sponsor, Artlist. Artlist, you've heard me talk about them. They're a one-stop shop for everything you need to create your video editing projects. You've got stock footage, you've got music, you've got sound effects, and 
over 2024, they added a lot of AI features, AI powered search results. You've got AI powered artboards that give you personalized recommendations for footage and music and sound effects to go with your projects. They've got AI voiceovers now, AI text to speech voiceovers, which is just super, super cool. And in 2025, they're going to continue that trend. They're going to improve on their already existing AI tools as well as implement more like a speech to speech AI voiceover tool where you can completely have full control and direction over your AI voiceover, which is awesome. And they're going to have generative AI, which is that thing where you can type in what you want to see in a video, like, I don't know, a flaming marshmallow flying through space and AI will generate that video for you. So you take all of these really cool AI tools, you add in stock footage and music and sound effects, which are all super high quality, and you add in visual effects and project templates and plugins and a library, an art list extended library that will integrate directly with your NLE and their own NLE as well. You literally have a one-stop shop for all of your video editing needs. So if I were you, I would hop on the Artlist bandwagon like immediately. Click the link in the description of this video. If you sign up using that link, you're going to get two free months on top of an annual subscription and you'll be helping out this channel. So it's win-win, but it's mostly a win for you because you're going to get access to all this really cool stuff. Thank you so much to Artlist for sponsoring this video, for continuing to support creators like me and for continuing to innovate all of the tools available to creators. I can't wait to see what you guys do in 2025. Now let's do real quick a blind comparison. What I've done is I've set this up. So every two seconds, it's going to switch audio tracks. You're going to have no idea which audio track is playing. You're going to have no idea which plugin is on which audio track. I've got it set up. I want you to listen to it. And I want you to hear the difference between the noise reduction, the difference between the audio quality of the dialogue after the noise reduction and all of that stuff. What sounds better to your ears? Does one produce a better result than the other or do they sound exactly the same? Let's go ahead and give it a listen. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom. So there's an exhaust fan on. Also the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. Now, to me, they sound almost exactly the same. If there is any difference, it's probably just bias because I know <laughs> what is what. It wasn't a blind test for me, but I think they're almost exactly the same. So should you get Clarity VX Pro? Should you just stick with DaVinci Resolve's voice isolation? Here are my thoughts. DaVinci Resolve's voice isolation tool is amazing. It does amazing things, amazing quality, and it's really simple to use. There's one single knob. That's that's it. That's all you have to worry about is one single knob. And so if you are not too worried about it, I would stick just with voice isolation. It comes with, I can't remember if it comes with the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Let me know in the comments if it does. But if it does, then there you go. However, the simplicity of voice isolation could also be its downfall. The fact that there is only one knob here and there's no other controls or anything, if you crank up this voice isolation tool and for some reason it's warbly or maybe it didn't get rid of what you wanted it to get rid of, you have no way to fix that. It's just you've got the voice isolation tool and you got that one knob and if that one knob doesn't work for whatever reason, then you're kind of out of luck. Clarity VX Pro is a little bit different. You've got the simplicity. If you want it, you choose the correct band. You have the slider. You have the option to actually take away the voice, which is actually kind of cool. If you are working maybe with a piece of music and you want to try and get rid of the voice, you can actually use this to do it. I've done it before. Although now at DaVinci Resolve's music remix and the fact that my DAW of choice when I'm mixing music has stem separation built in, that's, you know, it's, I, I guess it's not really needed anymore, but 
it's there. Plus, you have the advanced controls. So if something does go wrong or you don't quite get the result you're looking for, with the simple controls, you can go into the advanced controls. You can hunt down your problematic bands. You can adjust things. You can even expand and contract these bands if you want, if you want to work with narrower frequencies. You have a lot more options to get it right. So if you're a little bit more obsessive about audio like I am, if you want to little bit more control like I do, then I would highly suggest checking out Clarity VX Pro by Waves. It is linked below. It is an affiliate link. And if you actually sign up for one of their subscriptions, you can get Clarity VX Pro. And if we take another look at my VST effects library, let me just clear out that search. I would say 95% of the plugins in here come with my Waves subscription. So, you know, you can get a lot. It's probably overkill, but I also produce music, so it's not overkill for me. I have a lot of plugins. So without further ado, in case you're curious, here is that blind test again, although now we're, I'm gonna show you which clips were which. Okay, so I'm actually in my laundry room right now, which is also a bathroom, so there's an exhaust fan on. Also, the heat's blowing. It's very, it's loud in here and kind of reverby. So we're going to use AI noise reduction to try and clean this up. Let's see what we can do. So let me know in the comments below, have you used DaVinci Resolve's voice isolation tool? Uh, have you used Clarity VX Pro? Do you want to try Clarity VX Pro? Let me know in the comments, what are your thoughts? And also please keep in mind that AI noise reduction doesn't always work. And sometimes you have to result to the manual version of noise reduction, especially if you have really, really bad audio. Luckily, I have created a video walking you through my entire process for cleaning up bad audio. You can check that out right here. And until next time, don't forget to go out and make stuff. Thanks for watching.